I'll show you how to make a uh, control rod out of 16 gauge wire that I bought at uh, Home Depot. Get 200 foot for $6.29. 16 gauge wire, 200 foot. Comes in a big coil like this and uh, it's kind of soft. So it's it'll work for uh, making control rods. I tried 18 gauge wire and it's um, just too, too uh, pliable and bends when you try to uh, set it up as a as a control rod, so it's 18 gauge won't work. Measure out the length you need on your uh, wire. I need about 30 centimeters, so cut off a length here. Okay, so you see it's all bent up and uh, crooked, and uh, how do you get it straight then? Well, I found a easy way, just take a wood block. You could use a metal block if you had it or a piece of metal that's uh, maybe half inch thick or something. Drill a hole in it that's a little bit bigger than uh, um, the wire. For this uh, 16 inch gauge wire I used a 1 16th inch drill bit. Take my drill, put the end of the wire in there, put in about maybe an eighth of an inch and then tighten your chuck down to it. And uh, make sure it's completely tight. It's gonna, if you go too fast, it will uh, sit there flap around. So, what you do is you put your block all the way up against your chuck and bend it a little bit, like this. So, your wire's bent. And then it'll come out nice and straight. Then you just take it out of your chuck, put the other end in, and you do the same thing. Put in about eighth of an inch. Tighten the chuck down. Just feed it through your block. Bend it about a little, maybe five degrees. And your wire comes out straight, or about as straight as you're going to get it. You can use this as is, but if you need to put a Z-band into it, I would put the, uh, the bend into the wire before you heat treated it. I have a Dubro Z-Bend, but I don't have a chuck that's big enough. I'm, I've ordered one off of eBay. This is one and a half millimeter uh, wire. So my chucks don't, aren't big enough to bend this yet, but to make this even, because right now it's very uh, bendable. So I'm gonna show you how to harden this. Take a propane torch, take the wire that you just straightened, take a pair of pliers, and uh, it's easier to hold it it's easier to hold it this way than this way because the wire is going to be flapping around. So put it in the teeth of the uh, pliers so it's secured and heat it up until the wire is red hot. And this will uh, heat treat this galvanized steel wire and make it a very hard and springy rather than bending. It also helps to have two, two pair of pliers so you can turn it if it starts to bend. You don't want to heat it up too much on one side. If you have a, a, like a wood burning stove or something like that, that you can lay this in flat and heat it up, or like a forge or something like that, that would work even better because you could heat the wire all at once. And uh, if you heat it too much in one spot, then it might bend.
and have a bucket of water standing by and don't cure. Helps if your container of water is bigger than or big enough to hold your uh, your entire uh, control rod. Then once after you quenched your control rod, if there's a bend in it, it's still still some bends. You can bend it and go out with your drill one last time. So instead of bending, it will be a little more springy than it was before you heat treated it. And eventually this hole will wear out and you can just drill another hole or use a piece of uh, hard steel that's harder than the wire and you won't have that problem of it wearing out.